I am absolutely taken back by receiving this award. Um, it's such an honour to be able to be recognised for achievements since I actually graduated here. It's my second time I'm going to this ceremony, second time that I've worn these robes and it feels so familiar. And Solent was a fantastic place to be able to prepare me for the world of business. Um, I did a business and entrepreneurship degree. I always knew that I wanted to go out into business, but I didn't quite know how and if I was ready for it. Coming here and actually understanding about me as a person, um, networking with my fellow peers, now alumni that I still keep in contact with, and then having inspirational speakers come in and talk to me about the world of business, as well as lecturers that were really able to broaden my mind and my horizons. I've done a number of things that um, that have been such highlights since graduating. A, cu a couple of the more famous ones, obviously I found myself in the boardroom with Lord Sugar on The Apprentice. Um, I did particularly well there, I only lost one task, um, broke a few apprentice records on the way. That was a lot of fun, um, but achievement wise, I think publishing two best-selling books when I came from a position of being completely disenchanted with my own ability to spell and write all the way through to being inspired at this establishment to actually go in and write and then go on to write two books. There's got to be things that um, I'm most proud of. Students that are graduating today, the tips that I would give them is to really lean in to everything. Get hungry for experience, get hungry for work, get hungry for breaking the norm, not settling with just okay. Go challenge yourself, go create, go do something, make a product, design something, be interested in something. They always say, never hang out in a room where you feel the smartest person. Go find rooms that people are millionaires and you want to be one. Or go find rooms where people are doctors and you want to become one. And go out there and without the biggest cliche in the world, but change the world.